Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming Tech Projections and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix Rocket League crashing, freezing, and not responding on Windows 10. So if you guys have been watching a whole bunch of videos and most of them don't work, which will happen, I had that same problem, my Rocket League stopped working even with the GPU and I was able to get it to work yesterday so I feel like making a video for you guys to help you guys with your problem so i um just watched a few videos seen what things worked for me and most of them didn't like just none of them worked for me i guess because it just didn't work for me and you know i just me me just being curious i tried a few things and i was actually able to find things that worked for me so before we start, please make sure to subscribe and turn the like button. I make a lot of good videos like this. And if you do end up enjoying this video, like I just said, go ahead and drop a like on this video. And look at the screen right now. We are at 13%. Well, negative 13%. But you like last video, I think I was at like, what, 30? Or, yeah, I think it was 30. We are getting views. Come on now, guys. Thank you, guys. But we you already know we're close to 800 subscribers. I can't wait. And then... It's easy to just get a 900 and then 1,000. If we get to 1,000, I will do a special for you guys. And when we get to 800, I will do a special, which you guys will probably see that Tuesday. So, uh, when you guys see this, you guys will see it, which, well, I think, Monday. And, yeah, so, today, I'll just be giving you guys a few methods that um, work for me and methods that, um, that didn't work for me but might work for you. So um, if you have if you are using onboard G um, graphics card like the Intel graphics cards and it's um, it's onboard and it's not working for you, first thing you might want to do like this is not technically a method but just go in Epic Games which this is from Epic Games you can try it on Steam but this is mainly for Epic Games just go and go to settings and try troubleshoot if you do have an error like you don't meet the minimum requirements then I'm sorry none of these methods will work for you mainly because you're um, your 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 PC is not for Epic Games or it just won't work at all. So I just warn you guys right now so that you guys don't waste your time watching this video. I mean, unless you want to try them, you can uh, you never know until you try. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll score to get into the video. <laughs> Okay, guys, so for the first one, it will be deleting web caching. So if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically uh, when Epic Games like has some stuff they want to dump out or they don't need anymore, they will put it into this folder in um, your files, which will just, it's like basically like a trash bin or a cycling bin or your temp folder. And we'll actually be using our temp folder later in this video, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So go ahead and do Windows R. And you will see this now i um, have already did this so that's why you guys see it right here so i'll just exit this and show you guys so do percent local app data and then percent once you do that just press enter and it'll bring you to this now all you got to do is go down until you get to the ease and do epic games launcher now go ahead and go to saved and then you will see the web cache um underscore 4147 now if you've never did this, you should also see a folder that either says web cache or something else. But you will know um, know it when you see it. It should say, just say cache. But go ahead and just delete this. And then go ahead and go into Epic Games and try to launch again. If it doesn't work, then go ahead and just um, go ahead and stay in this video and go, try the next one. So other than this, if this isn't work for you, then I'll go ahead and move on to the next one and uh, see if this one works for you. Okay, guys, so the next one is trying these line argument command prompts in Epic Games. So if you guys don't know what I mean, I'll go ahead and open, open Epic Games Launcher. Go ahead and do that. But if you guys don't know what I mean, basically, um, Epic Games allows you to use certain um, command prompts to make your games work and I'm going to show you guys how to do that so you can um, add command prompts for different games it doesn't like do it for every single game which I like so first thing you want to do is just go down to settings and then go down I'm surprised it's not doing the glitch like usually whenever I go down then it'll do some type of like screen glitch but it's not doing it which I like now go ahead and go to Rocket League 
and you guys see i'm using one this is the actually the one that worked for me and look up on the screen right now these are the ones you want to try and um just you, you guys see the comma commas um try each one by itself and see if those work this is the one that worked for me and if you have um um dx11 which you will need you will need either dx10 or dx11 or dx12 which i have dx12 and um yeah you just make sure you have those you can try dx9 which um rocket league doesn't um support dx9 anymore but hey you never know until you try so these are the ones that work for me go ahead and try them and um, you guys see DX12. So if you have DX12, try that. If you have DX10, try that. If you have DX11, try that. And also, um, go to, uh, you can try windowed. And basically, if you go to windowed, it won't open up full screen or it'll at least open up um, the screen for you so that um, you can actually see what's going on. And um, so I don't have to, you know, make this video any longer. I'll just show you guys the next one. And the next one is, um, you guys, if you guys have this enabled, which most of the time you will epic games will um um click or have it checked for you make sure to have this off if you have this on then it will go to the bottom and it'll say not responding you won't even be able to see anything and i advise you guys to turn this off so that whenever you go ahead and get into the um and to the game once it's actually working then it will um uh, maximize it up to your screen so that you can um see what's going on and it's actually working and that's pretty much it go ahead and try each of these um command prompts and if they're not working try this and then once you do this go ahead and try to see if you can open the game if it works then if you know that uh that one's working if it's not then we'll go ahead and move on to the next one so thank you for watching this one if this one if this one doesn't work then go ahead and try the next one Okay, guys, so the next one is running both apps as an administrator. So basically, if you guys don't know what I mean, if you run the game as an administrator, one, it will open faster and it will um, check all of the um, all of the check marks like um, for cer certain things like reading uh, the files, executing the files, and editing them. And you want to make sure that all those are checked. So I already have both of them um, checked or um, running as a um, administrator at all times. So what you want to do is, if you have the Epic Games Launcher on your desktop, which you should, go ahead and just um, right click, and you should see, go, you should see properties, go to properties, and then, um, you know what's cool? I did not see this before, I, did, I don't get the shortcut tab, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but go ahead and go to com 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 compatibility, and then um, you want to, well, this is something you want to do, but we're not going to worry about this right now. This is actually something later in the video. But you want to go ahead and run this program as an administrator. Like I said earlier, it will check all of the processes and you won't have to um, verify anything. And just run this program as a administrator. So once you do that, just press OK. And I'll go ahead and show you guys where to find Rocket League if you're using Epic Games Launcher. So go ahead and go to, your, go to this PC. And go to local disk then go to program files and then go down to epic games and then go to rocket league binaries win 64 go all the way down and you will see rocket league go ahead and right click properties and you will see compatibility go ahead and go on there and make sure to run this as um, a pro uh, run this program as a administrator and you guys can see I have the shake. Don't worry about this yet. This will also be some other in, um, in the video and I'll go ahead and go through that. But if this one works for you, then make sure to um, put that in the comments. And actually, if you're still watching this, which I hope you are, make sure that you um, go in the comments and tell everybody which one worked for you so that they can try themselves. And I will also leave um, like uh, some stamp marks in the um, description for each one. So you guys don't have to go through all of that. But uh, if this one works for you, that's good. If it didn't, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. So thank you guys for watching this one, and let's go to go ahead into the next one. Okay, guys. So the next one is enabling certain things in properties. So like in the last one, I was saying there's certain things in the properties that you want to make sure that are um, um, enabled, and some things I, I didn't want to mess with yet because I knew that I was going to do it later. So go ahead and um, go back to your file manager, and we're just going to go all the way to it, which I didn't know how to do this. I already have a shortcut for it. Go, I'm gonna go to Rocket League. Just if you don't know how to do it, you, you already you can just go back to the other one. But or go or go to the last uh, method. Go to binaries, 164. And once you get down here, you want to go to Rocket League.exe, 
and you want to go to properties and you want to go to com uh, compatibility and then you want to go ahead and disable full screen optimi optimizations i'm not sure why you do this but other people have been making videos about this and they say to do that and they actually work for me i think and you want to go to change high dpi settings and once you get here you want to check this and you want to say i signed into windows you want to check this and you want to do system enhanced once you do that i'm pretty sure this will force um radically to open by itself uh, and um, actually start working and just um you guys see this is pretty much it also you want to go to compatibility mode and you want to run this program in compatibility for um windows 8 and do not do windows 7 do not want to windows vista service pack 2 don't do service pack 1 and don't just do regular uh, vista you need to do windows 8 once you do that that's pretty much it go ahead and apply i don't need to apply i already um did this but Thank you guys for watching this one. If this one worked for you, go ahead and go in the comments and tell everybody which one worked for the worked for you. And um, put the um, timestamp if you want to to help other people out. But other than that, if this one didn't work for you, then you can try the next one. So now let's go to get into it. Okay, guys. So the next one is updating your or, or updating and installing or just installing Visual C plus um, plus files. So basically, just go to your browser. And then go to uh, this site. I will leave a link to it in the description, or I'll leave a better site uh, for it so that you guys don't have to go through all of this. But you guys will see Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019. Now, before you do this, go ahead and go into your um um go into your control panel, and then go to like where you you know install uh, uninstall apps, and you can tell which ones you already have, so you don't have to go through all of this. And I'm not going to go into it because because I'm not going to download any of these, so it doesn't really matter. But just go inside of, um, like, what you can do is you can go to your files and you can, like, do um, uninstall. It'll bring you to control panel. And just look for the ones that you already have downloaded. And then look for the ones that you don't have downloaded and download those. But the, uh, apparently these are supposed to work. Also, you can go to your files. And um, there I think there's, like, a Redis folder. Um, let me see if I can find it. If I can't, then I'll, um, I won't. I'll put it in the video okay so i could not find it i'm pretty sure there was somewhere in um the file manager where you could um or file explorer where you could um it'll have like a redis folder but yeah, i couldn't find it so i'm not gonna um, go through all of that but go ahead and go to the site i will leave the link to everything in the descriptions and um or description <laughs> and uh, you guys can just um, go to those links and download everything you need to so if this one worked for you I'm glad it worked for you and go in the, in the comments like I said and all the other ones and go ahead and just tell them that this one worked and leave a timestamp if you want but if it didn't work for you then go ahead and move on to the next one and we can see if this one worked for you okay guys so the next one is updating your drivers using a app name driver identifier now this driver um updater is awesome like it's better than all these other ones driver booster 8 all of those because it literally what it will do is it'll bring a list. Um, it's a site, and it will bring a list of everything that you need to update, and it's it'll bring you right to like a website that has everything that you need. And I really love these. But um, let's go to get a uh, go to it. So I already have the file. If you guys want it, um, I will leave a link to. I'll try to see if I can find it. I don't have the link to the site, but it will be in the description for you guys. So you guys see from the last one. But go to the driver identifier can't spell yeah so you guys can see um so go to i'll go to this site yep this is the one i'm pretty sure yeah so download this one and once you download it you go to driver identifier right here and then do not turn on any of these do not check any of them it tells you uh, what your pc name is and what um operating system you're using just scan now and then you'll get brung to let me see no i'm not gonna be able to do it but i'll just scan now and basically it'll go through all things that you have connected and then um i'll just go ahead and skip to the um, part where it shows you the actual driver that you need to update okay guys so now um it's finally starting and when you get to the app once it gets done it'll like wait a minute and you, you need to wait and then it'll bring up the site and just scroll down you guys see i need to update my intel our hd graphics i wasn't able to find any drivers for that so i'm not gonna worry about that i got the game working and that's pretty much all that matters i'll update that some other day when i can actually find a driver for it but if you keep going down you guys see i need to 
to my NVIDIA virtual audio device. I no longer have my graphics card anymore because it broke. I'm pretty sure it overheated because um, my uh, CPU chip got um, chipped and now a piece of it is gone and I can no longer use it. I will be buying a new one so I can do like Rocket League videos. I can still do Minecraft videos, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So you guys can see my Bluetooth personal area network, my, um, oh, that's my USB. She has a whole bunch of them that, that they know that needs to be um, updated. And it'll leave a link right to like um where the file is. You guys see it literally puts a list of the drivers for it. But I'll be doing that sometime later. But now let's go ahead and move on to the last one. Okay, guys. So the last one is you need to rename your Rocket League folder to Rocket League Old. And I'm guessing that the this just makes it a brand new folder that resets everything to make it brand new. And so basically, just go ahead and go to your files, go to documents, go to my games, and then go to, you, you guys will see it right here, Rocket League Old and Rocket League. So basically what you want to do is just go ahead and go to, uh, or click on the file, or click on the folder, and then go to rename, and just rename it Old. Now it will bring up this, just go ahead and press yes. And then do press do this all or do this for all current items. Press yes. And then um, do this for the next 30 conflicts. And then we'll do that. Now, once it does this, um, you don't don't worry because it will make a whole nother one. And then just go ahead and um hurry up and open my click to see if this works. If it doesn't work, then if none of these worked, then that might be a problem. And that might be, be just because you're um graphic card just does not um support rocket league at all and most likely if you go into epic games i'll show you guys like i said go to troubleshoot and you guys see for me it shows it it just says i don't meet recommended requirements but i meet the minimum requirements and um i'm going to tell you guys now even if this does work even if it does open up it'll be really slow and that's mainly because your still your gpu still doesn't support it it just it will open it it has enough power to open a rocket league and it'll still be lacking just like how mine was so other than that if none of these worked i'm sorry i tried i uh, tried to find a whole bunch of resources to help you guys out i will make a part two for this if i'm able to find any other ones and um you might be able to contact Personics or epic games and try that i've already um um emailed both of them and they um just gave me some stuff to do and um, their stuff didn't work. It might work for you, but the stuff that they uh, told me to do was stuff I already did or um, I was unable to do because they were giving me Steam stuff to do or stuff that only worked on Steam. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the outro. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. Go ahead and like this video. Like, if this actually worked for you, like this video, please. I want other people to see it so I can help them out too. And the more likes I get on this video and the more views I get on this video, uh, YouTube will push it into the algorithm and it will put it on the recommended pages, which I've been seeing that, like, um, my family members, you know, they're subscribed to me, of course, and you can actually see it in your recommended, depending on what video it is. But if this actually worked for you or if you feel like this was a well-made video, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe because I make a lot of good videos just like this. And if you guys want me to do more tech videos, if you guys want me to do more um, gaming videos, go ahead and put that in the comments. If any of these work for you, go ahead and put it in the comments. I will leave a link for every single thing in this video um, in the description. I'll leave a link to the driver identifier. I'll do time stamp for each um, um, for each method. I'll do a link for pretty much everything that I said I would do um, or do a link for or just things that I know I need to do a link for. So thank you guys for watching. Also, if you're still here, thank you for um, watching till the end. And other than that, I'll go ahead and uh, and other than that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.